appreciate it. But to kick things off, we really wanted to kind of share our team members here so you can get to know each one of us. We really uh, focus on being very service driven here at the Alliance and we've got a phenomenal uh, team of folks. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, share a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Carrie Hobson Pape. I am executive director at the Alliance. I'm physically based in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, but we'd never know that with the world of Zoom that we're all in right now. So um, with that, I'm going to pass it to Corey Bryant, who heads up communications. Sounds great. Thank you, Carrie. Hi, everyone. My name is Corey Bryant. I have been with the Alliance for four years. I currently lead our communications and many of our strategic initiatives that we take on here at the Alliance. Um, prior to that, my experience is in the OPO. So I spent, um, I've been in donations since 2013, and it's been a privilege to work with the Alliance on the national level for many years now. So um, thank you all for joining us, and I'll hand it over to Deanna. Thanks, Corey. Hi everyone, my name is Deanna Fenton. I'm the program manager here at the Alliance and I've had a pleasure of being a part of the Alliance for almost three years now. Um, prior to that, I worked for the OPO based here in New Jersey where I served um, in the clinical department in hospital development. So I'm thrilled to be here with all of you today and I look forward to um, sharing a lot of our beneficial resources with you. And with that, I'll go ahead and turn it over to my colleague, Felicia. Thank you, Deanna. Um, hi everyone, my name is Felicia Elizondo and I'm the program assistant here at the Alliance. Um, I've been with the Alliance now for about two years and prior to joining the Alliance, I worked at a transplant center uh, for about 20 years as a financial coordinator and business office supervisor. And I would just like to welcome everyone on today's call and I'll hand it over to Carrie to begin our presentation. All right, thank you, Felicia, I appreciate it. Um, and in addition to these three fantastic folks, we have two other individuals that are part of our team, Glenn Matsuki and Belinda Jones. Um, Glenn has tremendous background in uh, OPOs and transplant centers, and Belinda comes with tremendous transplant background as well. Um, and they serve on a variety of different work groups and committees and provide tremendous content background. Um, <clears throat> so with that, we can go ahead and kick things off. Corey, if you don't mind. So this year is actually a year where we are um, celebrating the 15th anniversary of the Alliance. So just to give a little background on the Alliance, it really kicked off back in 2003 when uh, Secretary of Health and Human Resources, um, Tommy Tompkins, really focused on bringing the three estates together. So the OPOs, hospitals where donations occur and transplant centers, and they kicked off a series of collaboratives, which were an extremely, um, productive uh, program for our community. And after several years, the Alliance was created in 2006. Um, and the intention of the Alliance, and we could probably forward to the next slide here, here um, the intention of the Alliance is really to bring all three estates. And this is currently our messaging map, for lack of a better word. Um, and it really highlights our value proposition in the community. And I'll go ahead and share it with you here. Um, the Organ Donation and Transplantation Alliance convenes those who will collaborate, share, and advance the field through an exchange of collective expertise among thought leaders across all three estates, through active exploration of critical topics, insights, and effective practices, and through relevant, targeted, and scalable learning solutions. Because together we're on a resolute path to save and heal lives through organ donation and transplantation. And this is really the, 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 the focus of our team and the focus of all of the programs that we have in our broad portfolio. So as we look at this kind of collaborative approach to saving and healing lives, one of the key aspects is an extremely strong board of directors. And we wanted to share some of the individuals on the board. They represent uh, OPOs, transplant centers, and then a variety of different um, healthcare associations across the board. And I think the next slide really emphasizes the collaborative nature that we try to focus on. So beyond the board, we also have three leading national leadership councils. So we have the National Donation Leadership Council, the National Transplant Leadership Council, and the National Innovation Leadership Council, each of which are constantly bringing new ideas to the table recommendations for areas for the Alliance to focus and new programs for us to begin uh, developing with members of the community. So you can see the focus areas for each one of these councils and the, 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 the um, deliverables that really come from this as well. 
So moving on, we also um, really want to focus on a thanks to our corporate partners and our professional partners. We really could not um, provide a lot of the programs to you, to our community, without the financial support from each of our partners. So you can see here, all of our partners, we have four different tiers of partners. They're all listed here and all listed on our website as well. So with that, I am going to actually turn it over now to Felicia, who's gonna share a little bit about the Alliance Ambassador Program. Thank you, Carrie. The Alliance Ambassadors play such an important role here at the Alliance. Each professional partner organization has an appointed Alliance Ambassador. This person serves as the local liaison for all things Alliance and serves as the point of contact for the organization's complimentary webinar connections, on-demand webinars, and other learning opportunities. They are also the person who helps us to ensure that everyone at their organization has the opportunity to receive our communications and has access to the Alliance Community Portal. Alliance Ambassadors participate in several calls per year to stay up to date on our new programs and initiatives. If your organization is already a professional partner, but you're not sure who your Alliance Ambassador is, we've now made it easier to find out by visiting our partnership section of our website. Each organization's Alliance Ambassador is listed just below the organization name. I will now hand it over to Deanna to speak on our education opportunities. Thank you, Felicia, and hello, everyone. Once again, my name is Deanna Fenton, and it's my pleasure to join you all to walk you through some of our educational opportunities and training programs, including one of our most valued offerings, our Advancement Learning Series. Now, um, annually, the Alliance does host 25 webinars, which aim to provide education and information on the latest cutting edge discussions and topics. Additionally, these webinars seek to address the needs of the donation and transplantation community. That said, over the course of the year, you can expect to see 10 donation-focused webinars, 10 transplant-focused webinars, and five of our specialty webinars, which will include our two annual brain death webinars and three innovative webinars, which typically highlight new technologies, techniques, and ideas in the community. Now, these educational offerings are offered live as well as on demand. So during the registration process, you can opt to participate in the live presentation, where you'll have an opportunity to post questions directly to our presenters. Or you can choose to purchase the on-demand recording, which will enable you to view the webinar at your convenience over a 12-month period. Or as an added bonus, you can also opt to um, select the, the bundle option that's available to you as well. Now, while registration links for the live webinars are unique to the registrant and cannot be shared or duplicated, the Alliance does encourage you to arrange a group webinar viewing for your organization. Now, we do recognize that in light of the pandemic, coordinating group viewings may be a bit of a challenge, but with a little help from online communication platforms like Zoom and Microsoft Teams, you do have an option to coordinate virtual viewings um, through screen share. So should you choose to take advantage of any of the group learning opportunities, please note that everyone who participates in that group is entitled to receive the continuing education credits that are offered. All Alliance webinars, whether live or on demand, do carry a certificate of participation, SEPSI credits, nursing credits, and then CME or dietitian credits when applicable. At the conclusion of each presentation, the individual who registered for the webinar will receive the CE evaluation email that should be shared with your respective group. Now, our newly designed webinar, the website does serve as a one-stop shop for everything that the Alliance has to offer. So should you have any questions or require any additional information about our upcoming webinar offerings, you can feel free to navigate to the learning programs and collaborative events tab on our website. And there you'll find a lot of the up-to-date information on the webinar calendar. Um, you can also find downloadable flyers that can be shared with your organization. And of course, you can register for any of our upcoming webinars. You can also find out a lot about our upcoming webinars through email announcements or social media channels, which I believe Corey will walk you through in just a few minutes. But for now, I'll go ahead and turn it over to him to introduce us to some of our other um, professional development opportunities. Sounds great. Thanks, Deanna. So I'm sure many of you have heard about Onboarding You at this point. Now, Onboarding You is our online training program for transplant staff. And this initiative draws from expert knowledge from transplant colleagues from across the country. And what we've done with that is created a library of online orientation modules, which are intended to supplement a transplant center's new employee orientation program or to serve as annual competency renewal training. Now, we've designed this resource really to provide all newly hired transplant staff with a foundation of field-related information. Hopefully we'll, um, <coughs> pardon me, 
will facilitate success in their new role and also promote employee engagement and retention. Now a little more about this program. We launched this with four foundational modules which lay the groundwork for any new transplant professional and that information includes an introduction to transplantation, the history of transplant, um, a module called regulations, compliance, and you, and then another one on data accuracy and timeliness. And we've since added patient education 101. And as we move forward, we're adding new modules on a regular basis. So. We currently have, I believe, 10 role-specific 101 style modules with more on the way. And these range from um, areas like transplant social work to transplant finance, transplant coordinators, social work, and even a two-part series on transplant administration. And then we also have new modules that will eventually be coming, including transplant dietitian and inpatient nursing uh, and, and more in continual development. Now, users have the opportunity to earn SEPC or nursing credit for, uh, for completed modules, and we know some of these organizations, like I said, have already discussed using elements of this program for annual competency renewals or training. And this program can also be used to help satisfy regulatory requirements related to training and orientation, and it is a Medicare reimbursable training expense. So the program is available through a one-year subscription, which gives uh, access to the full training, uh, training library. And Pricing is based per user and is available on our website. And there are also special discounts available um, for our professional partner organizations. Bulk discounts um, are provided if you're interested in registering a significant portion of your headcount as well. So I encourage you to check that out on the training and development uh, tab of our website. Now kind of marrying to the onboarding you program, um, we launched the Alliance Transplant Mentorship Program in the fall of 2017, and it was so successful that it was followed by the OPO Mentorship Program in 2020. And the Mentorship Program provides new transplant professionals with access to experienced mentor connections across the country. And it really engages um, those experienced professionals to support them while these folks immerse themselves into what we know is a complex and changing field. And the goal of this program is to establish a network of support for transplant professionals, um, offer inspiration and encouragement and pave the way to career success in what we know is a very high stakes career field. And we're proud to offer three different types of mentorship. There is one-on-one -on -one mentorship or group mentorship, which has proven very successful in recent years. And then we, offer, uh, we also offer a component that is situational or skill specific. So um, that would be knowledge sharing for a specific skill that you might be looking to grow on. And we open these application periods on a semi-annual basis. So you can learn more by visiting the professional development tab of our website uh, and stay tuned to Alliance announcements as future cohorts are enrolled. We also have a specialty in-person training course called the Organ Donation Exploratory Seminar. And uh, some of you might commonly know that as Odyssey. Now this is an interactive course that was designed to broadly examine the comprehensive donation and transplant process. And this course introduces the clinical and legal considerations of donation and transplant, as well as things like administrative processes or family care, dynamics of healthcare partnerships. Now this program has traditionally been presented in person, but um, due to the regulations around COVID and meeting in person, we're currently retooling that a little bit to meet a virtual format. And that's currently in development for later this spring. So course participation includes a specialized take home textbook authored by leading experts in the field. And we'll be making announcements uh, very soon regarding a virtual production of this program. So we really hope that you would uh, take advantage of that and join us. Finally, the Alliance Conversation Series. Some of you might know that as our successful virtual town hall series. We've just renamed it a little bit. This is a cost-free collaborative opportunity uh, that takes place every couple of months, and it highlights a successful donation and transplantation process or practice across the country. Um, we launched this program in 2019, in which we invited programs to share their experience in um, OPO transplant collaboration and the resulting outcomes. And throughout, uh, through shared insight, we have these experts who identify solutions to critical challenges that affect the community of practice. And so we love for participants to join us in real time and participate in the discussion through Q&A, or you're welcome to watch on demand at no cost on our website. And they're also available on our YouTube channel at any given time. So we make regular announcements for the live conversation series and the on-demand recordings may be accessed for free on our website as well. 
So now I'll turn it back over to Deanna to talk about some of the tools and resources that we also provide. Thank you, Corey. Uh, so here at the Alliance, we're also very proud to be a provider of a diverse collection of resources for the donation and transplantation community. As you may have guessed, everything that we have to offer is conveniently housed on our website. So there you'll find all of our initiatives and offerings categorized by learning programs, professional development, resources, and insights. You'll also be able to find out more about the Alliance as an organization and the exciting impact that we bring to the community every single day. Now, one of our key resources you'll find is our Spotlight series, which was formerly known as the Alliance Education Corner. These one-page educational resources highlight a variety of topics that are relevant to frontline staff within the community. And those are typically the staff that are involved in the donation and transplantation process. They can be found under the Insights tab on our website and are available for download to be disseminated as you see fit. Now, an additional resource that you might take interest in is the Alliance Executive Insight Series. Similar to our Spotlight Series, these are one-page informational resources that focus on organ, eye, and tissue donation-related topics. Uh, these one-pagers, however, highlight topics that are relevant to senior leadership of hospitals and transplant centers. Our hospital executive insights are accompanied by references, resources, and tools. Additionally, we include brief testimonial videos from hospital executives that speak to their experience and expertise on the topic at hand. Likewise, our transplant executive insights are accompanied by a variety of tools and resources, as well as brief webisodes presented by an industry expert on each respective topic. So to learn more or to view some of these resources, you can visit the URL that's referenced here on this uh, slide. Now, uh, and another resource, the Alliance Community Hospital Resource Guide is another fantastic resource that we've developed. And I would say that was fairly recently. And this uh, resource targets small community hospitals in order to help enhance their donation performance. This guide serves several purposes. One, to increase awareness of hospital data that measures donation performance and how they compare to similar facilities. To provide education on donor management practices. To provide best practices for collaborating with OPOs. And lastly, to provide vital resources for donation education. And that's in terms of executive education, staff education, and of course, public education. All, the while, all while ultimately encouraging an enhanced relationship with an OPO. This resource is not only available online, but is also available as a 70 page download guide that can be printed and disseminated as you deem appropriate. Once again, you'll find that resource on our website under the resources section. Uh, now, also available under that section of our website is the Alliance's Community Resource Toolbox. This is a cost-free online library of more than 800 peer-shared resources, such as sample policies and protocols, checklists, scripts, educational tools, flowcharts, and the list does truly go on. But all of these resources have been collected from around the nation and include many wonderful references and links to relevant informational articles. So this is a true Alliance treasure box as there's a lot of valuable information that you can leverage. And as an added note, we always welcome new additions. So if you have any tools or practices that you yourselves are proud of, please feel free to share them with us. The last resource that I wanted to share with you all is the Alliance Job Board. Now this is another initiative that's relatively new, but has been highly beneficial to our colleagues in the community. This new section of our website does offer employers the opportunity to post positions from across the donation and transplant and health, healthcare community. Um, now it is, as an added note, professional partners also do receive a significant number of free postings per year. And the details for that are available on our website at this referenced URL. And with that, I'd like to thank you all for your time and attention. And I'm now gonna go ahead and pass it back to Corey to share some information about our signature events and meetings. All right, thanks, Deanna. So I'd love to talk to you a little bit about some of our, our well, our two signature in-person uh, activities that take place from year to year. The first one is the National Critical Issues Forum. Um, the National Critical Issues Forum is hosted every other year and was actually held this past November. Uh, this event invites key hospital system and transplant and OPO and physician and surgical leaders to come together for a collaborative discussion that identifies strategies for 
increasing organ donation and transplantation. And the 2020 forum, which we themed destination thinking, uh, took the opportunity to examine strategies and craft plans for the future, um, even capitalize on changes in the field and cultivate more effective partnerships. And something that's uh, really cool is e even though we weren't able to meet in person, we were able to pivot for a, a virtual event, which we found incredibly successful. And these sessions are now available to view cost-free on our website by going to the National Critical Issues Forum page. Also, the National Donor Management Summit is currently in the works for September 2nd and 3rd this year. Uh, this event brings together OPO and hospital and transplant partners to really focus on effective integration of donor management practices throughout the entire continuum of care. And each of these summits focus on successful strategies to enhance performance and improve donor outcomes in what we know is really an evolving domain of, of organ donation and transplant. Now this event is open to the broad community of practice. And, and while we were certainly counting on the opportunity to be together in 2021, it looks like we'll probably be looking toward a virtual opportunity this year. So stay tuned to our communications for further announcements about this year's summit. Now, um, so with all these resources, we've thrown a lot at you in the past half hour. So you probably wanna know where all of these can be accessed and how. And everything that we offer is conveniently housed on our website, which is organdonationalliance.org. And there you'll be able to find all of our initiatives and offerings categorized by education or community and resources. And you'll also be able to find out much more about the Alliance as an organization and the exciting impact that we get to bring to the community every day. So we'll start with our communications. Um, we aim to make that as simple for you as possible. We provide what's called a weekly digest called the Monday Minute. And that details our newest initiatives and our learning opportunities throughout the year. And you'll also receive a regular webinar digest email that details our upcoming webinars so that you'll never miss a chance to attend a learning opportunity and earn CE credit. Now, each year we also publish our annual impact report, which is in the plans to be distributed probably around September of this year. Uh, this report highlights the Alliance's impact and the progress we've made together over the course of the past 12 months. And that includes our accomplishments in education and innovation. And we, we work to make a digital publication available for everyone uh, following the mailing. Now, uh, in addition, we also host a national listserv called the Donation and Transplantation Community of Practice, or DTCP listserv, with more than 2,000 engaged participants, and it provides a forum for our subscribers to post questions and share best practices, uh, and you can sign up for that by visiting our website. I believe that's under the Get Involved tab of our website. You know, we're also incredibly proud to share the stories of, of frontline heroes on our website and through our social media channels. So if you have a personal connection to donation and transplantation, we invite you to share that story with us. And you can also nominate a friend or a colleague as a frontline hero who's a champion of donation and transplantation in their respective career. So we invite you to share those stories with us on the Get Involved tab, submit a, a photo or two, and we would love to feature those on our website and, and our emails and social. Uh, so that will be on the Get Involved tab of our website. And we've mentioned our social media platform several times today, and we would absolutely love for you to connect with us using any of the major social media platforms that you subscribe to. So you can connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, uh, as well as our YouTube channel, where we post some of our own video content, but also have playlists that, uh, that take on a number of field-related topics. And with that, I will turn it over to Carrie to discuss ways that you can get involved with us here at the Alliance. Thank you, Corey. This is great. Well, we uh, thank you to, to Felicia and Deanna as well. Um, we have a variety of ways that you can get involved through the Alliance, and there are all of the a lot of the information is on the website that's listed here. Our, our URL slash get involved, and it's everything from councils to work groups and planning committees. And of course, a lot of the additional um, information that Corey shared in terms of just sharing our um, sharing our uh, social posts and so on. Um, so we look forward to you joining us. And with that, now, Corey, were you gonna take a few minutes to walk through aspects of the website? Did you wanna do yes. that? I know we received a few different uh, questions from some of you prior to the session. We just have a few minutes left here. Yeah, absolutely. Let me go ahead and pull that up quickly. Okay, great. 
We want to make sure that you could easily navigate our website and get to some of the material that you're interested in. Okay. So, all right, Carrie, can you see my screen? Yep. Okay, excellent. So we recently uh, did a, a complete redesign of our website and what we're calling a new digital experience for the Alliance. And this launched in November of uh, this past year. And we really sought ways to make our information more accessible and easier to find for you. And so here is where you can go to access all of the programs and initiatives that we just told you about. So you can start with the learning programs and collaborative events tab. There you'll find our live advancement series and our on-demand web Webinars. So if you click on that, you'll find our full uh, library of webinar offerings categorized by date. And you'll also see that, as Deanna pointed out, they have a specific donation focus or transplant focus on the topics as well. Um, you'll also find our conversation series, our exploratory seminar, and as well as the two uh, national in-person meetings that we, we do from year to year. And then there's a comprehensive event calendar there. So you can go and, and check out what's going to be happening from month to month with the Alliance. The professional development tab, here's where you'll find our mentorship programs and the job board that was talked about. And here are some of the coolest resources that we really want to draw your attention to. Many of you might remember our old um, organ donation toolbox or the transplant resource guide and tools. It's all right here for you, as Deanna mentioned, in the community resource toolbox. So if you click on that, this has really been retooled to be the most successful it can for you in helping you locate what you're looking for. It's a full repository of articles and uh, downloadable resources and uh, templates and job descriptions, whatever you might be looking for. So you can go here and really hone in on exactly the topics that you're looking for. Let's say that you are an OPO professional who might be looking uh, for DCD resources as it relates to hearts. So you can go in and specify and find all of these resources that are categorized by year, um, whether they're articles or maybe it's a downloadable OR checklist or something that you might be looking for and just simply reset that and you can start completely over and find all of the different resources that you, you might need. So this is a really big win uh, we feel for our community. And also this is completely mobile adaptable. So you can use your mobile device to access all of that as well. Transplant resource guide uh, is here as well. And then also some a really cool thing that has been curated by our alliance councils and work groups has been state legislation as it relates to determination of death or anatomical gift laws. And so let's say that we were taking um, a, a look at the laws as it relates to the state of Florida. You can go and hone in by state, find the anatomical gift laws, determination of death, the online registry, whether that state um, recognizes first person authorization and whether or not the this registry is integrated with the Department of Motor Vehicles in that state. So uh, a lot of great work has gone in here from our work groups and councils to make this resource happen as well. And also a very cool thing that we have recently added has been our full directory, which has really become quickly becoming a who's who of donation and transplantation. So by clicking on full directory, You'll be able to go in and see a lot of the people who volunteer their time to the Alliance and have presented on our educational activities. And this is an ever growing list, uh, which you can find them by their involvement with the Alliance, focusing on their specific patient groups that they serve or their area of practice and their organ specialty, and really find a lot of diverse leading professionals across our field. So uh, if you're interested, we invite you to create a profile with us. If you go down here, you can click on update your profile. That will actually help you create a brand new profile if you don't already have one on our website as well. And with that, we'll go ahead and, and conclude today's presentation. Uh, and we'll go ahead and open it up for questions for you, actually. So if you have any questions, feel free to, um, to drop them in the chat. And uh, we'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions that you have. Corey, it might be worthwhile bringing up the website again, if you wouldn't mind. We received yeah. one question about downloadable flyers. And I think we could highlight the Insight series as a and if anyone has any additional questions about this, we, we'd be happy to answer it. Yeah, absolutely. So great question. So let's talk about our executive insight series. So any of these downloadable resources, you can actually go in by topic now. They're still all there. Uh, so if you go, let's say, shared access to electronic medical records, all of this information has been adapted to be mobile friendly or uh, web friendly. So it's all right here for you. But if you want to download the flyer um, to share with your colleagues, 
this is still available for download here. Now, I think you might have been specifically referring to the webinar flyers, uh, and we are just now getting our new webinar flyers for our 2021 live advancement series confirmed. But if you go in here, um, where you'll be able to download those flyers from will be right here. So if you go into the individual webinar page, you'll find the flyer offered there and you can go ahead and download it there. Now we are currently producing those for our 2021 series, but they'll be posted to our website um, probably by next week. Thank you, Corey. Are there any other questions? If people do, please feel free to, um, to, to share them in the chat. Okay, I think we went ahead and answered all of the questions that were sent to us ahead of time and we're a little bit past 230 here. So should anyone have any additional questions, you know how to reach us. Uh, we are all certainly available and you can always reach us at info at odtalliance.org. Oh, I'm sorry, info at we are now organdonationalliance.org. So there won't be a dash in our email address any longer. Okay, well with that, I don't see any additional questions coming in. So thank you for spending the afternoon with us uh, and we look forward to working with you this year. Thanks everyone.